welcome to Coding After Work. It's time again. Yes. And I literally sat down like four <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> so sorry if I'm out of breath. But we're back. We're back. Yeah. And we have stuff to do. Oh, we have so much stuff to do. <laughs> we kind of ruined the page last time. Yes. We left it in a state where... We shouldn't have. didn't work. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Uh, so we need to fix that mm. for sure. Uh, so we have a list. We will, um, if time permits, also look into the UX of stuff. Yes. Uh, because that is also very much needed. It is. Definitely is. Okay. So should we pop into my computer and yes. see what's going on? What's the state? Where hey. are we? Oh, look at that emoji, emoji con, emo, emoji con, emoji. Hey, Napalm. And as per usual, our chat feature apparently doesn't work. It's broken. <laughs> How did the job inter go, interview go? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think it went well. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Thank you for asking. Oh, look at our sponsor. We do have a sponsor. So let's sponsor? Say, I don't know. I I just sat down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blame that. Progress Telric has been a long-time sponsor of the of uh, both the podcast and, and uh, the stream. So thank you so much. And they do have amazing Blazor UI controls that is... Truly native. Truly native. Over and, 100. And truly awesome. Yes. Yeah, especially their, uh, I know I say that every time. They have not asked us to say that, but their <laughs> their support is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's pop into our page. Yeah, do we have so to? There's a few things wrong. I, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't say that this is the exact state we left it in. No. Uh, as per usual, you cheated. And also, uh, as per usual, no, not as per usual. Uh, we haven't actually pushed this. No. 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 Usually do, but yeah. this is. It was up. unpushable. Yeah. <laughs> and we did implement. We we added the search uh, search for conferences on. All right, on the universal each, search. Yeah. No. Uh, no. The, the contextual non, exactly. search. Exactly. And that feature was not implemented when we. No. When we left off last time. And as the awesome TV chef I am, this is something <laughs> I did earlier. I'm going to go back to that. Because I actually implemented it for speakers. Because I wasn't exactly sure how that would work. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a try and, and see what... So we got the, the best uh, best experience. So now I know that there are a couple of conferences happening in Amsterdam. So let's search for Amsterdam. Boom. We got all the conferences happening Yay. in Amsterdam. I don't know why this is coming up because it does, it doesn't have a... Is this in Amsterdam? Why does it think this is in Amsterdam? I don't okay. know. Let's, let's just assume it's right. Uh, another thing is uh, when we go into the page, you will see that this just has no results, and then there are results. So there are results. This is something that I, I just I didn't want to fix all the problems. That we thought we need to do something on the stream as well. But this is not why we're here, is it? No. It might be that I had a um, off-screen rant. <laughs> Let's call it that. Not sure if you would agree to uh, to that, but um, it, yeah. Are, are you going into rant? <laughs> is that what's happening? You don't know, is it? Are, is I mean, three minutes into the stream, is, is rant not happening? <laughs> okay, okay. So Tyndall helped us get a awesome sound for rant mode. Are we trying it out? I, I'm 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 assuming this is not going to be the only one. <laughs> Probably not. But let's go. Let's do it. Engage rant mode.
to camera. Oh no! Did we forget to add the? Yes. Uh, <laughs> right, do you have sound now? Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Very it, effective. It muted. <laughs> so we we didn't try. We tried it out, and we heard you. We heard that the the sound was. Uh, was playing, Jeff was yeah. playing, but we but we never tried to... it with microphones. No, but it is it is kind of cool because I can actually stop you for saying stupid things about JavaScript. That's true. That's yeah, true. Until we fix the rant mode, <laughs> we are not the only streamer who has done that to you. That is uh, not your day. Then is it you? Can we blame you? No. Okay, so we need yeah. to back up. Uh, so, what I was ranting about was that we have a gazillion colors in uh, in our code. Mm. We have uh, variables, CSS variables. We have hard-coded CSS. We have bootstrap CSS. We have all the colors but the ones we actually have in our color palette. Mm. And that is not okay. So, we need to fix that. Yes. And rant. <laughs> hey Simon, what just happened? Uh, so what happened was that we actually uh, got the rant mode sound from Tyndall, and we were that, that got it from Jeff. Yes, so. uh, and we kind of forgot to add the microphone to that scene, so rant mode was mute mode. <laughs> <laughs> mute mode. Yeah. So we have we have different scenes in OBS, and one of them is host sound. So it's easy to uh, to mute everywhere. Yeah. And gazillions. Apparently. How many bits is that? All of them. It's all of them. That's how many colors we have. See, I'm ranting all again. All the colors. Yes. I okay. Would say so. so. So last time we talked about all the different. Um, different theme uh, or uh, we talked about dark theme and talked about all the different colors so we ended up with a few colors like this this yeah. i'm i'm pretty sure i have been here done stuff this is not exactly how we left off and m most importantly it's not the correct colors anyway yeah. so there there we go and if you see here, we got an accent color, and then we have a bootstrap color body and bootstrap. bootstrap. So we kind of need to back up. We, oh, we... I like that bootstrap knows it's BS. <laughs> it's okay if you like bootstrap. It's just kind of like tailwind. Is that what? No. Okay. Bootstrap and I have a have a beef going on. It, it's it's personal. It's, it has nothing to do with bootstrap. Uh, it's probably very good. I don't know. So for those of you who who haven't thought about Tailwind, so what is Tailwind? That's basically a fart. <laughs> so we have BS and yep. fart? I, I'm oh my god! I'm assuming there is some kind of CSS. Uh, they, okay. They, they get it? Um, okay. I don't know. Um, okay. Um, okay. No? Yeah, let's... Yeah. Apparently, I'm not the only one who's fighting uh, Bootstrap, so I'm I'm glad I'm in good company. We're not the best of friends. <laughs> okay, so we need to we kind of need to back up. We need to uh, get all of the colors. I mean, you 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 educating getting the colors right, and yeah. me, me as well. Uh, so we kind of need to. Okay, what, what do we, we have actually... a suggestion? Just set four of the, the characters to F, and then the only uh, you only have 256 colors left. That's uh, that's one yep. way of reducing yep. colors. Might be a little bit too much still, but let's let's work on it. So what, I, what I'm thinking, we Remove kind of need to... all the colors. Yeah, we need to get <laughs> the palettes back, right? Yes. So I'm going to move the other colors down here, and we're going to say, uh, we're going to need to get the colors back in here. That's yes. what we're going to do. And we did have some in interesting discussions how to name the colors mm. because we want to um, be able to use them in dark mode and light mode. And I mean, if we have a light color and a dark color, 
the dark color is a background if mm. we have the dark theme, but it is the text color if it's in the light theme. We're just mm. switching them out to uh, keep the number of, of colors down. Yeah. Uh, so then what do we name them? Do we name them dark and, and um, light or do we name them twice? Which, mm. I mean, we shouldn't really duplicate things, but yeah. Yeah, so what I, what I'm thinking, we we had this discussion before going on stream. That's why we were kind of <laughs> late to to start the stream. Oh, we were on time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But we were it's just I sat down four yeah. seconds before going live. Yeah. Can <laughs> thank you for the clip. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> But basically, what we're what we're talking about is like we we need to get the palette in the the um, CSS. Doesn't matter if it's dark or or a light theme. We You're need to get the palettes in there. Um, what? You're on my side with your fingers. But I'm like. Yeah, I'm look at that. <laughs> Uh, so we kind of get got to get the palette in yes. the CSS to to begin with. Yes. Okay. So um, my mic just. Do you want me to my, clip my it My mic dropped. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Now I was in your. Uh... Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have some awesome news. Oh no! So what what now? No no no! It's awesome news. Okay. Our YouTube channel. Yes. Click and subscribe. <laughs> Has over a thousand Yay! followers. Finally. Yes. Now, I was like super happy this morning and I was like, oh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to see. I mean, we are ob obviously not making any money at this point. No. So I was like, oh, I'm going to see the, I'm going to see the, the, is it, is it a cent? Is it something? Then I realized that we need, I think it's like four thousand watch hours <laughs> or something like that so it's yeah. like okay we still, still have, have a, a, still have a little bit of work to to get there we we got a whoop cut congratulations thank you but we also got like uh, that you are like mr fantastic mm. or he's called mr fantastic right i think because it's the stretchy guy last, the stretchy guy yep. let's I call him the stretchy name. guy it's okay Ah, oh, yeah, it's uh, four month, four hours in a rolling twelve month mm. vid window. Right. Yeah, yeah. But still, we hit a thousand. Yeah. It's still a milestone. It's a small one, but it's a big. <laughs> we keep getting clips here. Okay. <laughs> yep. There you go. So color palette. Color palette. <laughs> You have some new colors for me, or you have a little bit uh, yes, of the same have, ones and yes, some exactly. New ones. Uh, we do have a color palette. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to switch to this one, or do uh, you want me to just read them to you? Do you want to talk about them? Uh, then we might want to switch, or no, no. no? Okay, uh, let's uh, let's do that uh, while we're going. I okay. noticed that we are using the wrong color, yellow. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's fix that with and Fab. That's our accent color. Yes, this yeah. is our accent color. So F Fab five oh five. Uh, B. Say again. Five oh five. Five oh five. Yeah, that's the correct yellow. That's why on the page today it's a little bit scratchy in your eyes mm. looking at the yellow. Yeah. So this is a little bit more muted, and we have the light color. Mm -hmm. That would be a light color because we're not, this is not theme specific. No, exactly. Wouldn't it be so cool if this was actually it the correct? It is not. Damn. It's not the correct. It's uh, would have been F -A -F. cool. F-A-F. F-A-F. Three. No. No. Oh, it's just making up. Oh, no, there it picked go. the body color. F-A-F. Three E. Three one. E. One. And you want the dark one as well? Is it 1F, 1F, 1F? Nope. Ugh. Oh, no, that's uh, too cold for, for our uh, schema. We have a 1A. 1A. 12. 
Twelve. Oh one. Oh one. There you go. Let's. So the reason we have this is that I usually say that we need we need a base color, and that's usually the one we are using the most on the page. So I think the recommendation is like sixty percent. That's the most of your color, mm. and then we have a lighter color, a darker color, and an accent color. And the accent color we only use maximum of ten percent. So we have a sixty thirty ten. Mm. Um, you don't have to adhere to those rules, but it, it's good to know that. The accent color that is usually a little bit more in your facey um, should not be used more than 10% on the page. Right. Okay, so we got those. Do we yeah. have any more? Uh, we do have a menu color, right? Uh, yeah, uh, but what... So... We talked about that. We... I think we landed in... We have a little menu bar up top, right? Yeah. So we, I think we landed in that we want to change as little as possible on the page when we switch from dark to light theme because we don't want to mess things up. Mm. And one way of doing that is actually using the accent color as a background, so the yellow. And I love the yellow color. I know you do, because it makes you feel like Batman. Bat belt. Oh, that's why. You haven't picked up on that? No. Actually, I haven't. What? That's okay. obviously why. I know it's obvious. All of us could see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we we want to hard code, if you will, mm -hmm. um, the the or have a static color for that. We want the yellow and the dark color as a text because otherwise the contrast will. Um, um, change mm -hmm. all right so that's ba <laughs> that basically mean that we are uh, we are we co have color complete for now yeah we do have some things we need to try out with the um, frames and stuff mm -hmm. only 10 percent of the color in the face i need to tell my daughter that there are <laughs> exceptions to the rule <laughs> i said accent color she can put all muted colors. That's fine. All the ivory and brownish colors. But the blues and the greens and the purple and, and the pinks, 10%. Which is the eyelids. So, sorry, Simon. That makes total sense. It works for that as well. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's take a look here. Uh, we got... The BS body color. So yep. the BS body color is. I have a problem with that name because body color for me is like the background, but yeah. no, because in CSS color is actually the text color. So great. Yeah, but in 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 the bush, I mean uh, Bootstrap. <laughs> Which oh, means... I shouldn't be so harsh. It's okay if you like Bootstrap. I don't, but it's okay. But Bootstrap is pretty good because it it. It's it easy has, to, yeah, I know. It, it has great ways of, of uh, getting the site up and running. All the ways. Exactly. 22,000 lines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the body color, the text color, yeah. should then be var. No? Va. <laughs> var. Uh, and that would be the dark color, right? For the light theme. For the light theme. That's what we're doing right now. Light yeah, theme. you should uh, you should uh, comment that so we know what's going on here. Uh, Make comments, document stuff. And say what? That this is the light theme. Thank you. That's not how you come on something. How do you come on something in CSS? Is it this? Uh, so, uh, uh, color <laughs> palette, palette, palette. CSS with variables. What dark magic is this? Right? It is fan freaking tastic, is what it is. And this is would be the light theme. Light, 
Why? Look at you documenting things Please. so we know what's going on. Because next week we will actually not stream. Have we forgotten to put on one of the lights? Yes, we have. Uh, yes. And that's my fault because I needed to reboot it. Ah, uh, there you go. Because that's the thing you say in 2023. You needed to reboot the lights. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Have we tried turning it off and on again? Uh, all right. So we have the body color should be the dark color. Let's copy and paste this. So the body background color should then be the light color. Yes. If statesmen are coming to CSS 2, if not already here. Well, we, we sort of have had that for a while, but not with a if, mm. but with uh, media queries and stuff yeah. like that. Kind of an if. Yeah. Uh, and the menu color, let me think here. Why do we have a menu color? Because we, what am it I was differ different than the background color. So now we don't need it. We just set the um, accent color for that one. Yes, but I think we might want to have an, a variable for it. That's let me fine. Take a look here. What's going on in the menu? It's because we had another different gray color than yeah, the one on right. the background. Let me see. Menu, 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 menu. Hello, menu. If this only this there was some sort of way of searching in that would be Visual so cool. Studio. So we got nav bar, stuff, thingies, and fluid, and we don't use the menu color anywhere we do have a different color though Let me see. there's a nav bar dark yeah maybe we're doing it uh, down here somewhere Let's now see. you see my problem with with the uh, the way we were using colors we actually are not using it anywhere okay but that's fine let's uh, let's uh, in that case Since we are not changing the color, mm -hmm. we don't need a variable for no. it. There we go. Because it's not variable, it's static. So in the dark theme, we don't need an accent. No. Nope. Because we that's, that's static set as already. Well. So I can just replace those. And switch them around. Switch them around. Dark light. Light. Is it just me who, who see that that little bird? Daytime, <laughs> nighttime. Yes, it's only you. Okay. Yes. But it's a fun bird. Uh, and we got link colors. We're changing those. Are we changing those? We're not changing those. Um, yes, we are. We need to change now, those. For now, it's the text color so we need to look into that whether we should change that or not yeah. okay so but that's fine yeah that's fine uh card background i believe right. was horribly white yeah and we also have a light tur turquoise uh as a frame somewhere i found when i was looking in um, the developer tools in the browser which I do not agree with. But the the background color for for the cards should be the same color as the background of the website. That means that I can do that. I think. What are you doing? So I'm using the the changed value oh, okay. of, of uh, okay. background color. So this yeah. one. So if you change the the body color, the card will change with it. Exactly. So I think we might want might be able to do do it like that. I don't know if there's some kind of like oh it's not defined here or something like mm. that. But let's let's see if we can. Okay. So save. Build. 
just to be Hold sure. Hold your breath. Are you ready? No. Let's see what we got. Nothing! Broken. Was it actually starting up? Yes, it was. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't put it in the media query for the dark theme. The card background. You only put it as a variable on top. So it's card in the light theme. Background. Yeah. So but you this is a root and the yeah, media Yeah, but you're query not only. resetting it here. Body color. Oh, let's let's see if there, we need to do that as well. Well, apparently, since it didn't work. So let's hope this works. Dark. Thank you. What did I name it? Did I say theme? Theme. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Did it reload? I don't know. I don't know if this one is. Yes, it is. Spill. Maybe this is the wrong. Uh, it's definitely something wrong. Let's check out our trusty tools here. Let's see. There we go. F12 for the rescue. Yes. Uh, so the background color is card BG. Yeah, that's the one you are resetting with another variable. And the color is. Oh, because I'm an idiot. That's why. There you go. It's not the color. It's the background. B. B. G. That's the one we want. Oh, got it. Uh, so we probably can remove that one as well. There we go. What is up with all of these? I do not moose know. Moose wings. <laughs> the moose wings. That should be t t-shirt. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's better. I'm not <laughs> getting any positive <laughs> feedback here. No, but let's continue. It's we also, better. It's better. We also need to. Uh, hey, friends of C Sharp Fritz. Hey. Sharp Fritz raided my stream with one hundred two viewers. We also need to look into something went wrong with my microphone. Do you hear me? There we go. I'm back. I'm not sure that I'm hearing you. No, I hear my, myself now. It, okay. it just went out for a while. Hey, friends of Jeff. My mic sounds great. Oh, that's good. And then it was only my uh, earpiece that was doing stupid things. So we are working on a blazer site mm -hmm. and we are trying to fix our color problem <laughs> yeah. because we have a color issue here. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so right now we're working on the dark theme, changing some, uh, some colors. Bob Thank you for the follow. is now following. And we also need to look into changing the input uh, box here. So it's actually the same color. That we are uh, uh, looking at. But, what, uh, but let's start with, with this one. Okay, so let's start with menu. Yeah. yeah. So the BG Dark has a background color, background color. This one, BG Dark, it's actually using the card background. So that's fine. Let's copy that one. Pop back here. And let me think. And that color is going to be static. You should so. update the text box to use the color papaya whip. What is a papaya whip? <laughs> oh, top remarks on the microphones and audio quality. A rock out guy says, thank you. Did you find the color? Uh, I hope so. Back. Yeah. Background, nice. color, and this one is going to be var 
and accents. Now what? we need to try this color because not only does it sound cool, it's also Jeff's favorite color for, <laughs> well, CSS color because of that reason. Of course, of course. Who names those? That, that's an awesome name. I was trying uh, to to find a I color like whip. wheat or something, but it, whip. yeah, but they didn't have it. Which one did you change? Uh, the um, menu color, I thought. Why is this one? Oh, it's in the root. Sorry, that's why. Because of that. There we go. It's yeah. funny though because some of the CSS names are just like fuchsia. That's a regular color. Regular name. I think we might need to use the horrible but sometimes needed important. Oh, the other way around. Wouldn't it be fun to have like a superhero pink? That is a color I could go behind. Rebecca purple? Really? There's a Rebecca purple? Jeff is delivering. <laughs> okay, let's see. God, why isn't this color? <laughs> we need a Jessica Red for my hair color. <laughs> so the BD Dark is not picking up our new color. Why? I do not know. It's okay. But so which it's, one it's is actually, the BG Dark? There we go. That's that would be the papaya whip. Ooh, okay. It's not bad. Actually, that would be good for for what we were looking at for your work. That might be good for that. Maybe we do nice. have a BD... Ah, there we go. We ha already have a BD dark uh, down here. So it's actually overriding, overriding itself. So let's see. Reload that. There we go. Now everything is as it should. Well, not as it should because... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you're not trusting Jeff with your colors? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And now the feature chat gave up, but uh, Jeff has some suggestions in the chat room. <laughs> State has changed and important. Yeah. That's yeah. the way to override it. I'm surprised you aren't using SAS. See, now it's working again. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a, a vanilla CSS uh, preference kind of person. However, um, we do have bootstraps to uh, struggle with. For some reason, Jeff is not showing up anymore in uh, the chat application that we are mm. using. Uh, but now we have state has changed. Important. Do it now. Urgent. <laughs> and nine one one. I mean that is if it's not if it's not picking that yeah. up, it's not worth having, right? Yeah. <laughs> and what? While See, we're... now it's picking up, Jeff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> while we're talking about Visual Studio, yeah. So last time we talked about the. Uh, Plugin that I or yeah. Visual Studio extension of, that I made. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I even forgot to document one of the features. So if we go, I don't even have it installed on this machine. Oh, that is embarrassing for you. I thought I did. Well, we were using that computer first last time, didn't we? Yeah, but I th maybe it's actually installed. No, it's installed. What's it, why isn't it showing up here? I do know. <laughs> is, it, is it working here? Oh, it is working. That's strange. So what is your extension? Uh, so the extension is the Blossom extension, where you would get uh, some, um, in my opinion, great features for, uh, for Blazor development. Lie. So let's say that we have our, let's just grab one of the, let's grab the counter because the count, everyone wants to counter. Here we go. So the counter here, I can right click and I can say create isolated CSS. 
or create isolated JavaScript. This is actually in the old version. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say that it... Oh, look at that. Update. Ah, update. There we go. New shiny things. I like okay. new shiny things. So I need to start uh, Visual Studio again because we haven't shown these features on stream before. Yeah. Let's do that. Reboot all the things. I actually got a lot of... It, my most popular tweet by far, I think it was up to 20,000 yeah. uh, views or th something like that. Yeah. And I got some really great feature requests. So I, for the next version, uh, actually Mads Christensen tweeted me and he said, yeah, you know what, you, you should add a little bit more information about this plugin on the marketplace. And to do that, you need to update the version number. And, and to do that, you, you need, need to add features. Yeah, well, you need to update you the features. Yeah. So that is what I did. Nice. Ah, oh, come on. Thank Look you. Guys now following. All right, we're done. Start it. Okay, Visual Studio. Is it always slower when you when you're demoing something? Yes, it is because um, time time behaves differently if you're a little bit stressed and you it's uh, on you mm, than if you are enough. actually uh, the viewer of things. Okay, so let's let's talk about the old features. <laughs> So if we go into our counter here, we can right click and we can create an isolated CSS. And when we do that, it's just going to pop up a counter.razor.css and it's empty. We don't need that one, so I'm going to delete that one. Uh, then we have create isolated JavaScript, which is going to do the same thing, with, but with a JavaScript extension. And then create code behind. That way we're going to get a code behind file that we can add stuff to for those people who prefer a code behind file to start with. So that's one thing. Another thing is that let's say that we do have a code behind file. While you're doing that, Jeff knows why it's slower for you. <laughs> it, it's because the Visual Studio team has a sleep command in there and that oh, adds five right. seconds if it right, knows right, you're right. sharing the screen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. At least it feels like that. So let's let's just pop in some parameters here. Mm -hmm. So I have a code behind file. I have a little bit of para parameters. Everything is still working. But now I realize that I want to enjoy having everything in the razor file. I don't want the code behind file. So I can just right click here and I can say move code behind to razor. Are you sure you want to do this? Because, well, things might break. So click OK and it actually didn't work. Uh-oh. That's the worst... Worst, worst demo, demo ever. ever. <laughs> Works on my machine. I might actually have missed saving it before. Uh, uh, or uh, yeah. so, Okay. It should <laughs> it work. That's the conditional exit on... And that sleep if uh, username... <laughs> <laughs> Mad's Kate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, and okay, let's the, try it again. One of the new. Uh, well, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, okay, got I'm it. I'm going to assume that it actually does work. So let's say that I'm in the conference page here mm -hmm. and I want to switch to the CSS file. Yeah. And it's over here, right? Yeah. So I'm doing stuff here and I, I need to move the mouse over. <sighs> Take a break. Yeah, it's hard Continue work moving the mouse. Moving it over here and, <laughs> uh, and getting. Oh, I missed it. Nope. Oh, wait, stop. Wait. Yeah, okay, so that sounds uh, very, it's, well, uh, it's very, very hard for right? you, yeah. yeah. So control you for the follow. n is just going to move me to the nested file. What What was it? Control? Control alt n. As so in I'm, next. As in next or nested, nested. file. Next nested? Next nested, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. Nice. So basically I can go into the CSS file, go back to the um, razor file. Without... If I had, 
you, using yeah, your mouse. Yeah. Correct. And if I had a um, a um, JavaScript file there as well, it would go into the JavaScript. And this isn't isn't Blazor related, really. This could be work for any nested files uh, in there. Nice. And also added something called show Blazor routes. And this is something I often struggle with because I have a route. Some some someone says, "Oh, this is wrong. Something's wrong on this page." Yeah. Okay. Where is that page? So basically, I can go in. I can search for it. But in this case, it shows all the pages, or the all the routes, I should say, in. And that's the, good because sometimes you don't remember if if you named it calendar or calendars mm. or. Uh, and stuff like in that. what folder does it yeah. uh, is yeah. it here? The route doesn't need to be the same as the the um, uh, actual file name. Yeah. yeah. So here we can just go. Well, I'm gonna That's go to nifty. attendees. There we go. We have attendees here, and I know that that one turns black. It's empty. No, it's oh, not. It's, oh it's... no no no! <laughs> I need to fix it. The accessibility on that one. Yeah, I know. I know. Hmm. I saw it when when it's already He's published. He's here. Oh well, soon. Oh, he's going to uh, going in the drive-through at Max. Have a, a shake for us, will you? <laughs> they have good shakes. So that that's another feature, and we also have this. So I can um, select some text. Right click and I can say move namespaces to import. And my personal favorite, extract to components. So I can grab maybe this code. I want to extract that to a component. What is the name of the component? That's um, stuffy stuff stuff. Stuff. <laughs> there we go. Enter. I now have a new component called stuff somewhere here. Where are you? Stuff component. There we go, stuff component. And, oh, it was actually the one that was open. So I got the stuff component. And also in the, um, I don't even remember, remember what file we were in. There we were. And also in the um, that file, we would get the stuff component. Uh, nice. Already um, ready for us. That's nice. Did you set up the sound bit, Jimmy? No, but I did. Uh, and I uh, actually have used it. We have used mm -hmm. it today on stream. However, what I forgot to do was add our microphones. So, rant mode became quiet mode. Do you want to hear it, though? Do it. But then you have to look angry. Like, <gasps> yeah. Chuck Beasley is now Engage following. rant mode. Am I done ranting? Yeah. But sadly, we forgot to add our own voice. <laughs> yeah. Next time, though. You Next do time. know that half, half voice. Half there. Half there. Ooh, do they have caramel uh, dulce shakes? <gasps> dulce de leche shakes? No. Well, they do have a caramel caramel one, I think, but not dulce de, dulce de leche. Oh, those are awesome. They are. What version of Vicious Studio 2022 are uh, you using? This is... I don't know. Let's check it out then. We all this is Enterprise. Stream. Oh, okay. And uh, not the latest one, but I'm trying to... Uh, this machine always should always have the preview version. So I'm using the preview version. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's see where we are with... Uh, all of the With the page, yeah. With the page. Did you change the the menu color to the uh, accent I color? I believe I did. No. Oh, no. I think you went with a Why crazy isn't that origin the thingy. Accent color. Because you didn't change it to the accent color. You didn't changed I it to I? the cool yeah, named but... one. Papaya stuff. I thought I did. I did. I did. I think you thought with the cat. Is the Blazor Routes container new in 17.6 Preview 1? No, that's uh, the uh, Blossom extension. 
So that's so, something Jimmy did, and it's uh, available on GitHub? Uh, it is, and it's also available on Visual Studio Marketplace. Oh, right. That's the uh, So the Blossom one. extension, it has all of those features. Uh, I can actually pop into the Marketplace. Market. And that's the one where you can do the... Uh, Isolated CSS, JavaScript, uh, extract things to container to uh, components, uh, yes. and all of those good stuff, and see the routes. So here, here, here are all the features in there. And actually, uh, as I um, so the the Chuck Beasley really needs nice. this extension. Nice. The route thing, the route part of the component is not documented in the. Um, you are so bad documenting things. Uh, I thought I did document it, but mm. something went wrong. But I do document think, all the things. But I do think it's actually documented this on my blog. This would have been a good rant mode as well. Because I it. can rant. It is, it's a, it is actually on my blog. <laughs> so it, it's, it is... It's it semi-documented? It, someone wrote documentation. It's yeah. just not on the right <laughs> place. In the right place. There you go. Yeah, look at that. It would have been a good rant mode. You just you just like me for my rants, don't you? <laughs> okay. Well, Ask let's Chat see. GPT to document it. Yeah, we've been using Chat GPT on stream for a couple of, of uh, streams, trying to help us with um, colors, accessibility, and let's just say that we are now redoing and, and tweaking stuff for a reason. Uh, it needs help. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's not a CSS AI, is it? Hmm. Well, let me see here. Uh, but at least it tried. Yeah. Apparently, I am, uh, I was on my other profile when I installed stuff, so I don't, uh, we're actually allowed to show the GitHub Copilot uh, chat or extension now, oh so. we are that's cool i mean which or are, are we <laughs> but i that's cool. apparently failed to install that as well so let's you come back to that embarrassing next today well, i did install it but i installed it on my work profile oh, and this okay. is not my work profile yeah okay so. you're you're yeah. you're forgiven you're forgiven this time Okay, so uh, now I added important. Let's see if that solves the... There we go. Whew, we better? need to change the like color it? of the text, please. You like it? Please and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the contrast is horrible. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look here. So this one is actually in the CSS or in the... Um, Nav menu, nav bar menu. Okay, so I need to change the isolated <laughs> CSS. So I need to move my mouse all the way up, uh, or just control alt down. Boom, we're in. There you go. So this one is using the accent color for the links. We we, we have a, a suggestion on on what colors we can use. We can use black on Papaya Whip or <laughs> Firebrick on Papaya Whip. That sounds about what ChatGPT gave us. <laughs> okay, so the link color in the menu. Everything in the should menu. Always be dark. Yes. That's what we're talking about, yes. right? There we go. So that's a little bit better. If you want the mouse over effect, because I know you like that, you can use the light on that because you're not reading it while you're mouse overing. Oh, thank you for the sub. Okay, we're a little bit closer. Yeah. Something is still missing. Yeah, the rest so of the text. these ones, why, where is that CSS coming from? So Don't you love from... the uh, web tools, the, the, the uh, I developer do. tools? I do, I can it's... definitely not live without them. Yeah. That is Remember not back in the day when we didn't have F12, where we actually had to find our stuff? So Those this were the is, days. so A is using this the body color the body color why but is it's it using, using the light thing 
No, it's using the dark theme body color. We need to hard code that or or set another. Uh, yeah, but I did. It is. This uh, should override it. Or am I completely? You said it. Oh, I didn't. So yeah, we're kind of married. That is nav link. Okay, so we have got nav link. Let's uh, let's grab that one just to to be overly. Oh, we have a, another. Oh, I don't. Mm, this could be another rant mode. Don't get nav angry. Link. There we go. There we go. No. No, black. it's still white. Black. Dark. Dark? Where is it coming from? <laughs> there was a nav item as well. There's a bunch of classes. Nav link. Oh. But there there's another class. There's a whole class. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do it the hard way. Nav, nav bar, nav link. Nav link. Why aren't oh, that's we? That's not the one. Okay. Why aren't we looking uh, at the class? What it's doing? The class nav link. Uh, the class. There's a class called nav link. Yes. Why aren't we looking at that? What that's doing? Um, in the CSS code, in Visual Studio. Because, uh, first of all, this should override. Yeah, but it isn't. Unless it's something else that it feels is more important. Yeah. But I guess we could. So we got, got the A. Let's remove this one. Need to set this up from the start. So the link should be the body color. Yeah, which is the text color. Which is the text color, yes. And the text color this in is, this case is the light color yeah, but, because we're in dark theme. Yes, but this is not going to be true when we are in the menu. No, because the menu needs to be static. So that is still true. That's true. But the why is the uh, okay? So, so maybe got, Jimmy should have a rant mode about CSS. What's up with these? Let's remove these as well. Thank you. This is yeah. So the the rant mode I had was around the colors because I was trying to figure out what colors we had because the light theme were looking off and not accessible. However, I found two trillion in colors and they were hard-coded, they were classes, they were variables. We're all over the place. Mm, remove all of these. Uh, yeah, remove stuff. There we go. I like when we remove stuff. No, I think Visual Studio helped me a little bit too much here. No? What's up with this one? I do not know. Okay, so let's see here. Let's reload. Uh, we got something is saying that, you know what, these should be white. And it's not the nav link, because that's uh, not using that. It is using this. Yeah, and it says it's important. And it's not using that, because that is not... That's the same. the same. So we do we have row. them twice? Because both are A. Do you think we do have them twice? How many A's have do that? we have? Well, you can't really search for that, can you? 
I might be able to do it like kind of like this. I think it there's yeah no. exactly no okay okay so we got one yeah and this and is going to be true for all the links that it's not in the menu yeah and let's see here table date get another table welcome to fight CSS show <laughs> uh, no okay so let's pop into the are you going into no the bootstrap? Menu. No, we're not going. Okay. We're never ever going into bootstrap. <laughs> so we got the nav brand. We got a a visited and nav link. Let's see what CSS classes we do. Uh, actually, we can do that in the uh, this one. So this has a nav link class. Yeah. And it's under nav item. Mm -hmm. This is a, a nav link. Yeah. Good. Okay. So. Would you see the class above it is nav item? Yes. And that should be fine. Okay. And we do. Let's let's do something like this just to see that it's okay. This gets the right color. Yeah, in the login. But not any of the other. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, a teachable moment. Um, this is something that I am forgetting every single time. Okay. So, when we have an isolated CSS, yep. that CSS is only going to style that component right right if you wanted to style sub components we need to add something that i am blanking on we, that's we what we need but the whole nav bar should be an isolated css this is not a commercial <laughs> are you <laughs> are you checking your own book for what the naming of that is i <laughs> I wouldn't want to say that's the case, but I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love how it's so accessible in this room as well. <laughs> this might happen a little bit too often. <laughs> but this is the new version of Googling your own blog, right? Yeah. We all do it. Mm -hmm. We all do it. And I need to figure out what, where what it is. chapter you used it in. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm doing this way too often. There, one eighty-seven. Okay, did we find it? Deep. <laughs> Someone actually said deep. <laughs> You were faster than me. Yeah. There we go. Deep. So yeah, all so credit goes to Dukasoft. <laughs> I and of course the raccoon on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we're saying is that we want to style the navel link, but we also want that style to to go all the way down, right? Yeah. But why aren't we lifting in everything in the nav bar to us uh, isolated CSS? Why isn't we? Uh, why we, isn't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what, what do you mean by lifting in everything? I mean, you said that there's um, uh, child elements in the nav bar that does not uh, take effect. Yes. Yeah, but why isn't everything in the nav bar? In isolated storage, storage, um, CSS. CSS because we um, we, we are not. It's going to be a, a static regardless of what what uh, theme we are in. Uh, yes, uh, but we do. We are using a Navlink component. Yeah, which is built okay, inside so of of a Blazor. Okay, got so it. That's why we need got to. It. Uh, Thanks. Okay, still not working. Did I forget something? Saved? Probably. Do you want me to check the book? 
maybe I put it in the wrong place. Let me see. Uh, actually, let's rebuild it just to be 100% sure. Oh, still Still broken. wrong. That's good. Oh, no, it's not good, but... Well, it's something. It's something. what it is. It's something. Okay, so the nav link... No, sorry, the nav menu. There we go. Uh, maybe I should put... Let's do it like... Actually, let's, let's do it like that. Uh, don't need... Don't think I need those. I think we removed it, didn't we? Let's do it like this, just to be see. If <laughs> just to see if it picks up any there of it. Go. There you go. So one of these is correct. <laughs> Let's see if it. Oh. The there we go. You Let's have go. Jimmy's blazer book. Oh, that's awesome. Did you find the answer in the book? <laughs> Just page 187. <laughs> <laughs> the big question is have you booped the raccoon the the cover raccoon the book raccoon book book raccoon what what is the hashtag um, boop the blazer book raccoon yes so it's now it, the blazer raccoon just a blazer boop. raccoon yeah you know it's yeah we're ridiculous that's uh, <laughs> basically what i'm saying yeah. but it's also fun okay so let's <laughs> let's work from the top here this is correct. Yes. This is what we're looking for. Yes. Okay. We have... Uh, do we want the mouse over effect on... Do we um, want the mouse over effect? No. Okay. Let's, let's go with no yeah. for now. Keep it simple. Yeah. Yep. We can add on features later. Um, for now, we just need it to work. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, down here, we got another yellow. Uh, that is not Okay. <laughs> so this I do not know how that yellow got in there, honestly. I have my I have a guess. Yeah, me too, and I think it's called <laughs> Jimmy's Lazy. Not lazy, I found oh, another okay, color. Okay. That's like <laughs> double the effort. <laughs> I love the navigation lock component and I am using it in a work project. Nice. Nice. The navigation. Oh, nice! Except I changed it to not use JavaScript. Jimmy approves of that. I do. I do. He likes JavaScript just as much as I like uh, Bootstrap. Bootstrap. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But it's okay so if anyone the, else likes it. The uh, I need to try to remember what the name of the and that's actually a component, I believe. There we go. Animated counters. Actually, not that one, I think. Maybe we should. Hello, Phyllis Nobel. Let's pop into our index page and take a look. Here it is. You found it? So, this is the all of the awesome claw or the um, spinning thingies. Let's see here. <laughs> Okay, so here we got the BG primary. That's another color we have, or a um, class we have. Apparently, you and and, and uh, Chuck is on the same page it, when it comes to JavaScript. That's nice to hear. Oh no, are you ignored? I'm so sorry. You're not ignored here. Okay, <laughs> is it better? Do you like it, it is better. It's better. Thank you. So I just want to check that. You still is... get that Batman feeling. Oh no, you have it. It was black, isn't it? It is it pure is black. black. But uh, um, no, that one is not pure no, black. No, because okay. it shouldn't be. It should be the dark color, which is near black. And the reason but... I'm having a a uh, rant his again is that's what. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're glad we're on stream now. Uh, <laughs> no, the reason I'm I'm reacting is first of all you shouldn't have so many colors and second of all uh, pure black and pure white on web pages is uh, not recommended especially not in the combination of of uh, black on white or white on black uh, because it gives you eye strain and it can have a haloing effect and and things like that when you read which uh, leads to eye fatigue and stuff like that. 
<laughs> Jimmy, sofa time! <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. He can still sleep in bed. That's fine. For now. Let's see how he behaves. Uh, I'm going to add another class here and say text color. Okay. Uh, because it, this was... Uh, some of the things we, we are using on uh, in the site here, we got from Bootstrap. Yeah. What is it called? Bootstrap Studio or something like that. So this uh, tech, text center, there was black, I think it was black text color or something like that. Let's just add another one, text color, and pop yeah. that into our isolated CSS. Like, not that, like that. Text... I think I'm safe. Diablo 4 is apparently released today, so uh, Fulus Noble is not sure that you want to sleep tonight. Uh, <laughs> but I think I'm safe. Either way. You can, you can interpret that <laughs> any way you want. Still. This is what you get when Text you have color. Did a I, gazillion I colors. I think I named it wrong. Text color, text color. It's even important, and that's the dark color we want to use, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see here. And that's also a static color. Oh, it's because I'm an idiot. Oh, you said that. Uh, the problem is that we also have an animated counter here, and that one. Apparently, Tyndall is does not agree. Agree with what? I, I think that you're an idiot. Okay. Yes. You're just unlucky when you think sometimes. <laughs> when you try to think sometimes, even. There you go. So I'm curious. Did you get a shake? Now I want to shake from Max. <laughs> we actually have a Max not that far. Right by Willis. And, and that, that is a grocery store in, in uh, Sweden. Um, I, I realized when I said it that that can be interpreted as something else. It's actually a grocery store and it does not have any meaning like that. You didn't get a shake? That doesn't mean you're a horrible person. It's just mean you have poor taste. <laughs> well, he did go to Max, so maybe he doesn't. <laughs> I'm trying to lose some weight, aka I'll give up and get some candy from the store right after the stream. I feel ya. Oh, so it's up to us now. If we keep streaming, he won't be able to get candy. So technically, it's on us. Well, we're fat, both of us, so. There we go. You're out of luck. Oh, anyway, you got it? Yep. Where was it? Uh, it was, I needed to add the text color class uh, in the um, animated counter as well. <coughs> We're back. Back. Marathon stream. Oh my gosh. We will be so slim. No, we will not. Neither of us. <laughs> And, and 24 I, hour stream confirmed but when we stop then the store will still be open so he can still get candy okay so let's check it from the top batman menu batman menu nice looking uh, picture yep with an accent color of yellow as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. same color as the accent color yeah not Totally black. What? Oh, it's a smudge on your screen. Okay. It is. Yeah, okay. White color here. Or Near probably white. Probably not Near white, white color. White. Let's check. Let's make sure that it's not white. I didn't, uh, it's not white. No, I know. I can see that. Yeah. It's near white, which is better. And yeah. the background is a near black. Yeah. Okay. Which so, has a slight yellow tint because we have a yellow theme. So this is working. Dark chocolate is a vegetable, right? 
I mean, basically, milk chocolate is is uh, a salad with a dressing, right? That's absolutely true. Yeah. Okay, let's pop into four speakers then. Yeah, we need to change the color on the input box. Input box. The search. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a, qu- a color we can try that I... I basically took the color that we have, uh, the near, um, no, I took the yellow and made it, uh, thank you for the follow. Skylex underscore TT I is now took, following. Like, say, are we in dark theme? We are in dark theme. Yes. So AD. Uh, so what, what color is this? Uh, what, uh, the border color. Oh, right. This is a border color. Uh, but let's try it. So this is... What so do you name is this it, is color? Um, I'm thinking... I haven't tried this color on yet. So it mm. might be a little bit too in your facey. However, uh, I was thinking we might be able to use them for frames. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Borders. Uh, but maybe it's it's good for the input box. I'm not sure. All right. It might be a little bit too But we got an accent color, we got a light color, we got a dark color. How would we describe this color? Uh, how would we describe this? Um, it is medium dark? Okay. I don't know. Medium Let's... dark. And then we have a medium light in that case as well. If, again, these colors actually yep. uh, work. Okay. Uh, so, AD7. AD7. CO2. CO2. Let's uh, just try it to... It might actually be a little bit too yellow. Uh, so, medium dark. Because uh, that's... When, when you're working on, on a col- color scheme and you're working on the palette... Uh, you just see them side by side. You do not see them like full on, and sometimes it gets a little bit too in your face. So this is the border color. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Yes. Uh, but it might actually be uh, the input box color as well, depending okay. on how yellow it is, because this is uh, as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. I see what you did there. No, it shouldn't be as well. We should have another color for that one. So it changed the border color. Yes. Uh, so we should have a different color in uh, in the input. So if we take should, that... Should the, the uh, outside of the box be the accent color? No. No? That is too in your face. We, sh- we should only use the the uh, accent color maximum 10% of the page and that nav bar takes up 10% of the page okay. I would say so no more accent color Got no it. and unless we do a version of it like we are doing here this is a version of the accent color but it's a little bit darker so if we take like red just yeah. ff000 would that be an accident color <laughs> oh my gosh you are not you are not okay. <laughs> okay, so we have that color. And now we want to make it just a little... Ooh, that was not pretty. Should we show them what you're doing? Yeah, sure, if you want to. Um, I think it might be this one. Yes. Yes. Uh, so apparently these are all the wrong colors. I'm wondering if this is the correct window. Maybe it is. Uh, Because this is the new one. Can you read me the color of the light one? Because I think something Uh, is off here. The light one is F-A. Yeah. F-3. F-3. E-1. E-1. I thought it was wrong. And the dark one? Dark one is 1-A-12-0-1. Zero one. There we go. And the yellow. Oh, this is the old one we had. That's the accent color, right? Yeah, that's Fab 505. <laughs> okay. 
What is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so those are the colors we have. So this one, we are duplicating here. Look what I'm doing here. So um, this is the color we have for for the for the frame for the border. For the border. Mm -hmm. This is the background color we mm -hmm. have on the page. So we can take the some same color. This is what I did with the, this very bright yellow. Uh, I just muted it a little. Uh, so let's see if we can do that. Uh, let's pop in. Yeah, let's just let's just mute it and see what happens. Because it needs to be contrasty enough to work on the dark background, but it needs to actually give you some sort of this looks kind of pukey. And it would be nice to, to be able to use the white color as well for the text, right? Uh, oh, it doesn't have yes. to be. But. Yes, definitely. So, color.adobe.com, they have a contrast checker that you can use, which I very much like. So, here I put in the colors. Uh, this is the new color we're, we're playing out with. Uh, and this is our light color and we get a contrast ratio of 10 and 10 is acceptable. When you're using tools like this, make sure that you're actually not using the double A standard, but the triple A because more people will actually have usage for, for this contrast ratio. Mm. Uh, so, um, that is, uh, better. <laughs> Tyndall wants to request more <laughs> redeems. We will uh, work on that for sure. We do have a bunch of, uh, if we're going the Jeff route, we do have a bunch of, of uh, costumes. <laughs> 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 I have the giraffe, the graph giraffe. Yeah. And I have a arrow that I'm definitely not going to get into for for quite some time. <laughs> so we have uh, we have two wardrobes, two uh, cosplay wardrobes. One is for Slim Jimmy and Jessica, and one is for Fat Jimmy and Jessica. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Ten is definitely acceptable. This could work for smaller uh, text as well as mm -hmm. larger. So we can try this color. Um, for sure, see so how what, it looks. What on. color is this? This is the input box color. Input box color, and that is the a... medium. No, that's the form button, form color. Because we have more places for that. That's the search bar. Yeah. Do we have any more? We don't have any forms and stuff like uh, that. Do we? We we do. Okay, so then it should be an input box color. It should be used for input box. Yes, but what what if we describe the color? What color is it? Uh, it is. Is it darker than medium dark? Yes. Medium darker. <laughs> we need to work on the naming. But again, I mean, getting a color, that's hard, but it's not as hard as figuring out a name. No, exactly. That's... Exactly. But we're doing this in, in small uh, small steps, baby steps. So what do we have? 4D. 4D. 3701. 3701. Yes. Okay. Let's try it and yeah. see what, it, and what happens. And that would be the background color so what we need we need uh, we need a little bit of friends here we need a in input color uh, you should switch or maybe I should switch uh, uh, I can do that there we go it's not like I don't hey the f YouTube thingy came on again we have a YouTube channel <laughs> Uh, so the input color should be the medium darker. And the input... <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, the input BG color yeah. should be medium darker. Yes. And the input 
border color should, should be, be medium, medium dark. dark. Like Actually, that. it should be the other way around. Uh, should it? Yes, because it's... Mm, oh, wait, it just got complicated. In the light theme, the border would be darker than the input. But that's fine. But in the dark theme, it's lighter. The border is lighter. Yeah, but that, that, the... I think that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So in the... Uh, we got our search box. Where are you? Should have seen you. There, search box. So Tingle the border has plans should be dark. Sure. And the background yes. should be me. No, uh, it should actually be um, <sighs> what? Medium darker. No. It should be input G B G color, just as Copilot oh, is suggesting. Yeah, but Copilot is nice to you. Let it help. But how does it know? It just knows. It knows you. Does it know this as well? It knew. Do yeah. you think this is okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. But wait. Too late. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. No, it's, it's not. It's helping you. It's not. Okay, so most people would get more productive when you get help from a co-pilot like this. But Jimmy actually get less efficient because now he needs to call his colleague or me or the stream and rant for mm -hmm. five minutes because it knew what he was thinking. Engage rant mode. Next time we will actually add so we can speak there. <laughs> okay, so do you think this is okay? Is this what we're looking for? Who? No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> you think this looks fine? No, I don't. Who? I definitely need to talk to my designer. Who? For sure. Actually, we should probably swap the colors. Well, not swap, but we should make uh, one of the colors darker and use the FD3701 should be the... Oh, my brain is fried. Should be the border. Because it's darker if we're making this a little bit darker. And I need to darken this a little bit more. Let's do it. So switch your color. There we go. Okay. So that color So this is, is the... what, what color is, is doing. We should still keep the... Um, where's the... Uh, let's see. We should still keep the color that is called medium darker copy that paste it in medium dark and in the previous one put in 2b 2b f1 no 1f sorry 1f 0 0 0 0 <laughs> tindall is suggesting uh, alt plus uh, please write my application enter that, yeah, that could be. If I did have that plugin installed on this profile on my computer. <laughs> okay, so it's still. It's better. The input color is better, but okay, go back to the previous. Um, we need to go back to the previous frame because I don't think the frame is, is uh, clear enough. You need to go back to the previous frame. Yeah, the, the previous medium dark thingy color we had. Uh, that was lighter than... But we moved, moved... Yeah. And I don't remember what we had that before. Was it this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, try again the uh, for the medium 
Dark. Dark. AD 7C. AD 7C. O2. Oh, is this a Halloween theme you're working on? Chuck Beasley is asking. Oh my gosh, does it feel Halloweeny? Oh no. That was not the intention. The problem I have with with using um, a neutral gray in this uh, this this uh, on this background is that it will look. Um, blue and um, we we'll try to steer away from that but i mean we can always uh, rework it but yeah apparently we are working on a halloween themed um <laughs> uh page uh <laughs> for sure okay oh no it's an a press theme that doesn't say a press your book okay so let's work on the colors later then yep. um we have something okay. that doesn't suck and apparently it's a little bit yeah, halloweeny we, we can revisit that no yeah problem okay so we got attendees that looks fine as well mm. uh, this one uh, yeah this one we decided to keep white yeah. and well basically hard-coded and static as well mm. uh, because it is easier to read and also it is super difficult to find so many colors that works for all the different color blindness um, versions yeah. out there and this one is approved uh, so we're not we're not, not redoing that uh, because it's super hard and we really really want it to work for for everyone okay so we got uh, our links now have an underline. Do we yeah. want that? Because I um, removed all of the CSS stuff happening. I don't think we need to have that. It, it looks kind of cluttered yep. and old-fashioned. Um, let's, uh, let's remove that. I need to remember what that is actually called. Is it text decoration <laughs> or something? <laughs> we uh, apparently need to change because now it... Not only looks like uh, Halloween, but also like the cover of an A-Press <laughs> book. Okay, so no... Well, uh, we have nothing against A-Press. No, no, no. We've actually worked together with them uh, on other books as well. But yeah, uh, work in progress. And this is often what it is to to work with colors. Mm. You, you, you saw the little... Uh, small squares and it looks great together there but then you try it out and you need to change okay so we did <laughs> you have... are listening in stereo for a bit that's one way to do it uh two devices that's dedication that's why we like you so the uh we did Cards. have a uh border, border. Around yeah do cart. we still want that we had a border and what we also had a um a subtle background color yes and i still think we want that mm -hmm. so that would be uh, let me see here we had something called card yes right so we got a background color and we got the color which is a text and we color, then, I want guess. to have a border. Oh, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Bam. So, 1px. We have the red. best friends. <laughs> there we go. Oof. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's not the color we're going with. Now we're in in not only Halloween but also Friday the 13th <laughs> and and yeah, this is apparently a, a horror movie. Wow, it does have bootstrap. <laughs> no? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for everyone who actually liked bootstrap. That's fine. It's just a me problem. I can't handle it. And I know it. So what kind of color do we want? We yeah. want we, you're saying that we want a background color that is a little bit uh, different. Yeah, that that's what we were working on last time. Mm -hmm. And I think we gave up on it uh, because what I wanted was to put some alpha um, yeah. on it. And but maybe, so let's let's try to, uh, I usually talk about, let's just cut our losses. 
Like, yeah. like, okay, we we got uh, we got a working dark theme. Yeah, we obviously gonna fix the red before we. Thank uh, you. Uh, let's let's see if we can. Uh, perhaps we just skip the border for now. For the for now, and take a look at the light theme because yeah. it would be really nice to be able to push this. Yeah. So, and I mean, it's less sucking than before. It is. So I'm going to. I know this. Oh wait. I was a little bit fast. Why do programmers like dark mode? Because uh, light like attract bots. Yeah, look at that. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm very easily entertained. <laughs> and it's true. Definitely true. Okay, so... <laughs> See, we, we need to do this for Halloween. <laughs> Trade the red for orange and uh, really ride that Halloween theme. Yeah, well, if you're going to do it, let's just overdo it, right? But for now, let's, uh, let's leave it. We okay. need to work on that. So, uh, I'm going to switch to light theme. Mm -hmm. Are you sitting down? I don't have a problem with light theme. You have a problem yeah, with but, light theme. Uh, maybe you have a problem with this. I do have a problem ah. with this. <laughs> and not only one problem, but there is one thing that's working. It's the menu. The nav bar. Yes. Let's let's start with the first. Uh... <laughs> you sound like Jimmy. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, at work uh, this week, there was a guy that was doing a presentation. And I, we were just like uh, seven or eight people in the room. And for some reason, I was closest to the projector uh, screen. And he was like, yeah, well, I got, got a couple of PowerPoints that I'm going to show you. The first one is, is um, petroleum green. So that's fine. That My eyes didn't hurt that much from, from the color, at least, or the light. There were other problems. Rantho? <laughs> And and then it switched over and everything becomes super super bright. Yeah. And I mean it was like ninety eight percent white pixels. And I'm like like st looking at the screen, um, I can feel my eye the eye strain, followed by the, uh, I my eyes were uh, watering. And I felt like I kind of like I just woke up. My my <laughs> eyes were, I, I can feel them becoming more and more red as time goes by. And again, I was sitting in front and the person that was presenting was looking at me all the time. Like, <laughs> is this slide okay? What about this one? Is this slide okay? And I was, the eyes were just, it was hurting so much. Tyndall has a dark mode redeem. So when someone uses it, I turn off my studio lights. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I actually, if, if it's, um, if I have light slides, sometimes I usually use uh, dark themes uh, for, for presentations. But mm. sometimes there's an image that has a lot of light in it. And I usually warn, if it's a dark place and there's people... Uh, close to the stage, I usually uh, give them a heads up so they know, uh, so Jimmy can take on, take <laughs> take his, uh, I don't know, sunglasses or something. Okay, so let's let's start with this page. The menu working. Yeah. And uh, this is still working. Yeah. This, this is, still, is working. still working. Still this. Yeah. Got the same color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of this is working. Mm -hmm. Okay. One down. Four speakers. Nope. Just nope. But, Period. Uh, but this yeah. is working. Uh, right? I think that the frame here is like a light turquoise, which uh, someone does not approve of. And that someone might be me. Um, okay. But, but it might not be. I'm not sure. Uh, but we can do it. We can solve that by going in and... Simply saying uh, none, perhaps? For now. Yeah, exactly. But let's just solve the yeah. 
There the immediate go. issues. And the yeah. immediate issue here would be, oh, we forgot to change the color of the preview text in the input box as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the input box, we haven't done anything with for the... Light theme. Light theme. Yes. No? Yes. <laughs> Someone. No. Wait a minute. We've done everything in the light theme. Oh no, now we have a Thanksgiving theme as well on top of the uh, <laughs> Halloween theme. Well, they come one after another, so we're ready for the holidays already. Yeah. We don't really do summer vacation here, so we live in Sweden, so summer is like suggestive. <laughs> That's true. Today it was actually too cold to to uh, take a walk in the morning uh, in just a hoodie. So we have a Thanksgiving uh, uh, theme as well. Well, at least we're um, keeping it on the fall theme. I'm not... I don't understand this. We said we so needed the, to change this the... This is a light theme. We've done some... So the body color. Why would we have a medium darker? It's dark. So this is the these are wrong. Yeah. Right. And they should be light theme body color. Body color should be yeah. That's, that's a that's text correct. color. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and we so already have a body color like yeah. that. But we shouldn't have the medium darker and we don't have another... But this is some other color, isn't it? I don't know. It's probably Bootstrap. Maybe it's Am not. I bashing too much on Bootstrap? Yes. I am, right? No, it's actually the correct color. Yeah, but it looks darker the here border... because it's surrounded by light. No, the... Yes, it's actually... Yes. So, these are the correct colors. Great. Yeah, but not for this theme. Uh, so, w what do we want to do for this theme, then? Different colors. Different colors. Uh, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, what do we do for... Since we're doing a, a uh, holiday theme, right? Where's our Christmas theme? We need that as well, right? I, I added the Christmas theme and you were like, Oh, the red is hurting my eyes! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is true. Okay, so we need something that is a little bit darker, right? So uh, I don't know. Do yeah. we? Uh, is that what we're looking for? We need. Color? Well, we we could have white as well, but um, that would be the easy option because we need contrast. Yeah, we can go with white. White, white. Um, white, white, white. <laughs> that's something you never thought I would say, right? Um, it might be a little bit too white. Where is my brightness? Bring up the brightness. Okay, so there's a different white we can use. Maybe this isn't... My screen might not be enough, but try it. Uh, FFF. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I need to think here. It's the so now we are now we are introducing another color. Yes. We're not introducing medium darker. We're not going to no, switch that's, that that's, one out. That's what I said. We we need a medium lighter and and a yes, medium light yes. as well. So this one is is medium light. Is that what we're saying? Medium um, light. No, my microphone is acting up again. No, wait. My earpiece. Okay. As long as you can hear me, it's fine. Uh, so we have a uh, FFF8 FFF8 E6. Let's try e that one. I don't know if it's six. contrasty enough. And where do we want this one? We want that uh, as a background color. Yes. So that would be the input PG color. Like that. No. That's... No? Okay, then it should be called lighter, because that was the darker. 
Or, no, I'm thinking wrong. Sorry, you were right. Yeah. Why isn't this working? <laughs> you don't like teams? Oh, because I'm an idiot again. So the medium, this one should be, should be darker. Oh my god, what did I do? There we go. Okay. So this one is a light theme. It should be medium. Oh, light. look at this. There was an NDC, uh, that's a conference uh, presentation that had a slide that said that the average page is now bigger than the original Doom. <laughs> that is... that. That's a game. Um, that is... Uh, fan freaking tastic and <laughs> followed by the original doom was like three floppies right do you even know what a floppy is you're so young <laughs> okay yeah it, these colors seems similar off. yeah but it might not be contrasty enough. input border color input pg input Medium light. Oh my gosh! You're 38 in two weeks. That's nothing, honey. <laughs> he's ancient. No, he's not. He's a spring chicken. Wow. You even experienced the five and a half inch. Or is it five? Five and a quarter, right? Yes. Yeah. I've seen them. I have not used them. Oh, right. Colors. <laughs> <laughs> what? They are fun in, in the chat room, okay? <laughs> it might actually be that they're not uh, contrasty enough. Uh, so, if we go down to this one, it should be. Uh, FFF. So this is the medium light again. Yeah, right? FFF BFO. F BFO. BFO. Yeah, no, not it. That's the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better, right? Yeah. But the border is still the. Yeah, old the border one. we should change. Because and the looks text looks good there as well. Okay, so what uh, what border color should we have? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm on code duty. You're on color duty. <laughs> um, either we go pure white. No, that will not be contrasty enough. Or we go darker than this one. And that could be... Are you dark enough? You are not dark enough. So Tyndall apparently had a monochrome TV and all. So did I. The ZX Spectrum had 15 colors of gray. There you go. So try this one. It might be a little bit... Uh, so what are we talking? Yellow. What 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 do we name that color then? Uh, that's the yeah. medium lighter or whatever we call it, yeah. because we call because it's not it's not lighter. It's a medium light. So it's medium light darker. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> oh my god! We need to rename these variables. We can't have a medium light and a medium light darker. <laughs> Technically, it is a medium light darker. Darker, it is. Let's do that. Okay. So try uh, F A. F A. E D. E D. C D. It might be a little bit too yellowy. C D. Let's treat. Let's try. Like that. While we're on the theme, I mean. Uh, and that would be the border color. We have a bunch of of uh, ZX Spectrum watching this stream. Because Tyndall, we know, has connected his, but also, um, look at this. We have half half the chat room. No? I can't. There we go. 
Mm-hmm. I actually, uh, it's, it's actually on the uh, on the bottom floor. <laughs> don't have it. Here. I'd go with medium black and dark black. <laughs> Yeah, but we have the near black as a background. <laughs> yeah, we need to do something about that. So the border is that is that looks like a way input border color. Uh, <laughs> Did you call it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Spectrums represent. Uh, I'm doing it wrong again. Uh, medium dark, medium darker. It's these colors I should change. Medium, light. Yes! Jimmy, you and Tyndall, Spectrum Dev, co-stream. <laughs> my, my coding skills on a ZX Spectrum is not up to par. But you can tell him how everything works and he can code it. Oh, that's true. So he can code, mm -hmm. you just know the backgrounds. I can talk assembler code. It's actually kind of a fun thing because... In school, I I, um, uh, I learned assembler, and I believe I got the next to the highest grade in in uh, assembler, and I learned nothing. <laughs> I have kind no kind of like I, me and and uh, programming A, as they called it. I didn't know what a function was coming out of that class. But the the class was a good class, but I I just oh, could this was not, not understand assembler. Yeah, I uh, the the test went t horribly wrong. It was really really bad test that all the tests I did there. But for some reason he gave me a great grade. We had that teacher in in multiple uh, different uh, subjects, and and those I was good at, but assembler. Not so much. Not so much. Now, fast forward like 10 years or something like that, I built my ZX Spectrum emulator. And the, the, um, the assembler version that we were doing back then was the Z80 assembler. So if I n know what I know now, back you then... You would have aced that class. I would. Yeah. I would. N because now I understand what's... what's what yeah, but happening. you also read the freaking book back cover to cover. I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so is yeah. this better? Just leave it uh, <laughs> Just for leave now. It. We need to look it into the colors anyway, so this doesn't suck as much. Okay, so let's pop into a... See, this is what I'm saying. Uh, Tyndall never read the ZX book cover to cover, so you will take care of that part. <laughs> And you will take care of the rest, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. <laughs> I did read the ANSI C programming language cover to cover. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in, in a conference, yeah, this still looks good. Sort of. Right? Yeah. Now this Ooh! this does not. No. Uh, so I'm I'm thinking we're gonna. We're gonna do the the uh, simple way. We're just gonna pop into the uh, what is it called? Uh, Can we just use the medium light darker? No, it's actually a uh, the medium component. light color. No, we're not gonna no. do that. We mm. are simply going to say it's actually a table. Why is that a table? I do not know. Why does it have? Maybe it's actually in the CSS. Let me see the CSS and I can <laughs> fix this. Jimmy just might need be Sir Sinclair in a new skin. Kind of like Ed from Many Mark 1. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove the alternate uh, colors for yeah. now. Yeah, for now. And Cut our losses. There we go. That looks horrible. But yeah. it works. works. Yes, yeah, it works. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to dark theme. I'm going to check sure the page. Make sure that everything the, works. This yeah. is still working. Great. Can we close the F12? Uh, we can. No, no, no. This looks good. For speakers. 
This is the problem. We need to address yeah. that. Yeah. There's a bunch of things we need to address. Working. But at least it, it um, sucks less. Amsterdam. That's not how you spell it, is it? Amsterdam. There we go. <laughs> uh, so we, uh, we are on time. Mm -hmm. But... You're still going to roast me for, for doing stuff after. So I, yeah. I just as well, just go with it. Go with what? I'm just going to do one more thing. Yeah. So in the... Uh, because we're going to max later because, I mean, <laughs> Tyndall okay. said. Fine, fine. <laughs> I heard milkshake. <laughs> so what we have here is uh, the search bar. Yes. And... It's implemented for speakers, but it's not what implemented for... What color is that? Oh, don't, don't care attendees. about the colors. Don't care about the colors. Which color? Baby steps. Color? When, you, when you click in it, it gets this completely one. white. Yeah. It's fine. not. No, it's not. It's going to be fine. No. You're fine. Baby steps. No, I'm not. Uh, so uh, this is implemented. Mm -hmm. uh, so for speakers, uh, we can search. Contextual search. Yeah, for this one. See, attendees, it's search. not working. Oh! Because I have not implemented that. Well, that could explain it. It could explain Could it. be one reason. Mm -hmm. So basically... Could also be that we're using Bootstrap. <laughs> <laughs> that took a while. <laughs> Did I throw you off with that? <laughs> it reminds me, my, my colleague... We we talked. Uh, there there was like they added a, a um, customer group or whatever, and it was called. Uh, so the, this was uh, customers that work with construction, building houses and stuff like that. And the group was C four houses, and I'm like, so that would be um, demolition, right? And he was like, yeah, no, it's C4. It's it's Granted, it's, I, I told him that in Swedish and it's not pronounced the same way. And I thought it was super funny. And he was like, oh, no, it's, it should. And he, it took like forever to realize, <laughs> oh, you mean C4, the explosive. Got it. Kind of like you now. Yeah. So there are two options here. So one <laughs> option is to the attendee page and the speaker <laughs> Jokes page. Jokes are the best when explained. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> there you go. We're in good company. And so either mm -hmm. we can just copy and paste some of this code. I'm or actually gonna, uh, I'm a, Kind of leaning towards that for now. Shouldn't uh, it be a component? Uh, it might be. Mm -hmm. Because the speaker page does the same thing as the, the attendee page. Yeah. It's just showing different... Search results. Search results. Yeah. Results. Exactly. So, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Com you're going to componentize it. Yes. We both know that you are, but don't you have like a nifty little uh, tool for that? But I don't need to compon componentize Com it. Componentize? <laughs> <laughs> I think if we're actually just going to be able to use different uh, URLs here. Okay. I'm going to think, let's see here. What, what page is that? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a speaker. I think I need a proper. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing, right? Okay, we, we're just gonna we're just gonna copy it for now. I think we need to. Um, it's gonna take too much time to do it. You know, actually, what we're gonna do? We're gonna just copy the whole page. Okay, now we're getting into some serious discussions here. Does anyone else have issues with IntelliSense and autocomplete HTML and Blazor components? Yes. Isn't that what you're talking with yeah. the team about? Yeah. So, yes. 
it's not only so you. Basically. But so it's basically you and Jimmy. <laughs> oh, so we do have an... Uh, I, I did talk to the here. racer um, racer editor team about all of those problems. But the problem... Uh, the problem for for me to describe the problem is that it's unreliable. So they're like, "Oh, could you please send me a, send a, a, a <laughs> screen grab a screen grab yeah. when it's not working?" Well, it's working now. Yeah. So the so the uh, example Tyndall gives is uh, like if I start a, a div and I press space, it will auto complete for like divider, for instance. Um. And sometimes Copilot makes that even uh, worse. There you go. The solution to Jimmy's problem here is record everything. <laughs> Could be a problem when you're working at a bank, though. Oh. And Foolish Novel is immune to the problem. Did Never I, missed up. Did I just break everything? Did you? Conference, oh. conference search term. Do I need to supervise you? Yes. Actually, I think I, uh, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to pull put that. So I did, I did um, prepare uh, this earlier today, but apparently I did not try the actual thing there you go so let's see here so basically what we're doing here i'm, I'm hoping that i'm going to be able to solve <laughs> this we have the text box and we're binding it to the search term we also have a key press that when i press any button on input which is the event is watching it should trigger the search method and if we go down here and take a look at this search method. It's simply if we have an enter, it's going to load the conferences. This is, is this this isn't, this isn't the right code. Could I do something also, completely do wrong? Do I need to supervise? Ask his wife. The answer is yes. So I have support here in in, uh, in chat room. Okay. I, apparently, I did copy things wrong. See, he needed supervision. Yes. And where were you? <laughs> In the chat room. Yes, because we have so much fun. Uh, so, uh, the search term, binding to the search term. Yeah. Search method. Yeah. On every click. On every uh, key press. On every key press, we're checking enter lo and loading the data. Mm -hmm. Loading the data it's yeah. going to run the search active conferences. So it's already limited to only the conferences that are in the future. Yeah. And we have one of these uh, parameters, which is has open call for paper. Right. So if that's true, it's going to filter only, show only the conferences with open call for paper. If it's false, it's not going to show all the conferences that doesn't have open call for papers. It's just going to show yeah. all of them. Yeah. And then it's going to send in the search term as well. So this code, I want to copy to the attendee page there, but send in false here instead. And that's basically the only difference between these, these two, two pages. Hmm. So it's kind of like, I, I want to send in that but I still want to have the URL like slash speaker yeah, slash attendee. Yeah. So because it is different pages because usually you're not both of them at yeah. the same time visiting the page. And I mean, we, we could do like slash conferences slash true or false or something like mm. that. But it's kind of, I don't know. No, it's prettier like this. I like pretty URLs. Maybe we actually could uh, extract it into a component. Yeah, um, but that's a future uh, problem, yes. just like the colors. Yes. Or so my autumn theme. We can. Autumn holiday theme. We should do a different uh, different themes. Yeah, we can do that. We need a midsummer theme. Oh, it's Sweden national um, 
what do you call it? National Day? Uh, yeah. Is that what you call it? I think so. Um, that's uh, next week. No, it's in five days. Is that next week? Yes, it is next, next week. week. Yeah. So this didn't work. Why? You broke something? Compare two elements in the array. Oh, because I'm an idiot again. Um, let's take a look at the error here. So, uh, uh, that's the wrong one. Where did you go? Here it is. So basically it says that, you know what? There are two elements with the same route. And I just copy the whole page. Oh, right. So, so you I copy copied the, the route, route, as, route well. as well. Yeah. So in the attendee page. It should what be the attendee. Uh, attendee. There you I don't go. remember if it's actually attendee or attendee. If only you had one of those router thingy... Uh, it wouldn't help because okay. I need, and I want I needed to understand what that URL is. Damn it! But this one is is actually speaker. Oh my god! I need to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it should be attendees because it's for attendees, yeah. and speaker should be speakers because it's for speakers. <laughs> One of the things that bugs you so much is how you name tables in, uh, yes. and also variables, but mostly tables you rant about if it should be singular or plural. That's, uh, that's and a I, fun I can see the benefits of both, but yeah, but the prob the problem with naming it in in plural is actually entity framework. Yeah. Because entity framework is going to take that and just slap an S to it. It's not entirely true, but <laughs> but basically it's it, we, you're going to run into those kinds of problems a lot more by doing that. Okay, now the last thing, the nav menu. Nav menu, we need to go for speakers instead. Are you excited? Do you think it's going to work? Mostly for the milkshake you promised me. You, I didn't <laughs> promise. <laughs> Tyndall promised me. Okay, speakers. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Attendees. Loading. There we go. Does it search? Does, you mean we're going to do that as well? Well, okay. wasn't Chicago. that the whole... Yes. Let's go with Chicago. Yay! There we go. Nice. Cool. And I mean, it's obviously work in progress. Still, still some stuff going. On. Oh, actually, we did something bad. Oh. No. What oh did no. we do? Uh, we uh, uh, there is actually one more difference with the attendee page. Okay. Uh, I need to check Git here. Let me see what we did. I don't remember what we did. We broke something. Uh, oh right. Uh, so we, uh, we're using the the conference item, mm -hmm. uh, which is the um, uh, which is the uh, component that is showing the um, the conference. The conference. Yeah, the conference but information. We don't want to show the call for paper. On the attendee oh, page. Right, right. So we can go back here and simply add that to the results here. There we go. So one of the things that is happening here is also so you can see that we have a for each loop here. Mm -hmm. And if we run this, And I'm going to reload the page. Mm -hmm. You see that no results. Yeah. Takes a little bit of time, mm -hmm. right? So if we go instead to the next tech event Azure Websites. Which still has the old colors. Yes. And but if I click the attendees here, mm -hmm. it's actually a little bit faster. 
And it's faster because we're using the virtualized... What is going on with the Go conference? Why is it... Why does it have text on top uh, of the image? This is the image. Oh. I uh, looked oh. at it earlier and thought, well, what the... Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what, what is actually happening here is that we're using the virtualized component. Yeah. So it's getting like 10 records instead of getting... 200 records mm. from the server. So that's something we might want to look at again yeah. with this. Uh, so yeah, for sure, because we have a lot of data that is showing and, and, mm. and it's all about our perception. Yeah. Um, and we did talk about doing uh, showing only like 10 items and we could do that by... We can have pagination or something yeah, exactly, like that. Exactly, exactly. Mm. But I think that... For now... For now... Is it releasable? Yes, it is. It is in a better state than we when we found it two yeah. hours ago. Yeah. And let's just quickly do a like theme check as well. Looks good. Speakers. Looks good. Attendees. Looks good. And looks not broken. There we go. Also looks not broken. I think we are done. Yeah. We never got to uh, do hold the whole UX thing, but that's oh. um, for next time. Or Th Then we're done with preparing for the next one. Yes, for sure, for sure. Added dark theme. One. <laughs> you really wanted that. Commit. Tune in next Push. time. <laughs> He's selling our our uh, our show. <laughs> Tune in next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Actually, next time, uh, next week, we will not stream because we are invited to a. Right. Um, That's on Thursday. What do you call it? Graduation. Yes. There you go. Fried brain. <laughs> Click the bell for notifications. Yes, see, they're doing the work for us. Always like, comment, and subscribe if it's coding off a work video. Oh, there you go. Okay, so do we have uh, someone to rate? Do we have someone to rate? Do you mean I should have uh, prepared for that? Look at that. We have the Vicious Studio. Um, All right, let's rate streaming. them. So until, well, not next week, but perhaps the week after that. Yes. Take care, everyone.